Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 in House Flipper. I'd like to continue today with the Uncle's Bunker. In the last episode we did this beautiful living room kitchen area. So now we are ready to move on to the bedrooms. I want to make the smaller of the two rooms a child's bedroom. So we're going to want to look at furniture for a child. So we're going to want to start with the bed, but I thought we could use one of those bunk beds. There we go, desk with bed. It's not actually bunk beds, it's a desk with a bed. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like we don't get a choice of colours though, so if we're going to do that we would only have that one, which is a shame because I would have quite liked to use that. Hmm. So, what can we do instead? We could make it a two-child room. We could put in a crib. That we can do in light blue, look. So it can have a light brown base and a blue crib. So we could put in a crib over on this wall over here. And then we could also put in a bed so that it looks like there's space for two children. So we could put in a child's bed. Oh look, blue clouds! Ooh, a light yellow base on the mattress and then the frame could be in keeping with the house by being a, a wood. Oh, I like it. Yes, let's do that. And then we can put the child's bed over here. Oh, I like that idea. Right, now we can go for furniture. We can go for little cupboards. There's a changing table as well, isn't there? Yes, there's a changing table. I knew there was something like similar to that, see, so... Right, so we can have a light pastel blue. The blue's got a dark top. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, never mind. We want blue. I do want the blue, though. I think that that, because that will be in keeping. So look, we've got a cot and a changing table. Oh, bless. And then we've got a little boy's bed over here. So we're kind of making this that they've got two little children, two little boys in this family, aren't we? I think it's kind of sweet, though. Let's have a tiny table in the pale wood and pop that in the corner there so that the family can put like nappies and spare things and maybe a changing bag on the table while they're in the middle of doing all their things. And then at the side of the child's bed we're going to want a little cupboard or a little desk or something for the child that has the little blue bed here. And I'm just trying to see what miniature chest of drawers. How tiny is this mini chest? Let's see how tiny is that? Would that work with the colour of the bed? Let's look at the bed and the chair. Do you know, that's going to work, isn't it? And then we want a little lamp there for the child. So lamps standing, we want a little one for the... We want blue, don't we? For baby boy, look, yeah, yeah. So we can have... And a little brown again on the base to match everything else. Pop that there for the child. And then bunny... There's a little tiny bunny, isn't there, in blue? Oh, actually, can we make the main body of the, the thing? Yes. And we can pop. Put the bunny on there for him. Oh, perfect. And then 
I wonder if we could put something on the... There are other toys, aren't there? There's a big... Isn't there a big bunny as well? There's a big bunny, isn't there? Oh gosh, that's a big bunny, isn't it? Can we put him on the... Oh, look, can we put him on there? Yes. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Right, now we want some more furniture for the children. I should have done that before, shouldn't I? When we were looking at the units, we could use another cupboard. A bigger cupboard. But similar in look to the... How about this big one? Because we've got beach. Older. Beach. Beach. How would that work? Could we put this under the window like that? Yeah. Lovely. So that matches the little unit, you see. That's a perfect match. That's lovely. And I think there's a beautiful little table for children, isn't there? I put chart. Yes, look beautiful blue if we pop that there and there are little chairs and things to go with it aren't that yes blue bye we'll have a blue one there and a white one at the other side like that and then there's some stools let's grab a couple of the little stools as well let's have a blue one and a white one and reverse them like that so we've got that beautiful sort of matching thing and we're going to definitely want something up on the walls how about the shelf shelf hanging shelf blue by now how about we put that up there like that and hanging shelf up isn't there a hanging shelf down as well if I just do down will that find me the hanging shelf down Actually, I don't want the hanging shelf down, do I really? That's not what I wanted. What I really wanted was a, an opposite side. But if I rotate that, that's just going to be the same, isn't it? Oh, unless... Can we make it like a slightly abstract design feature thing on the wall? <laughs> yeah, that might work, yeah. Right, I want some pictures, decorations, pictures. We want something bright for the children. The water lily is really bright, but it's not really childlike, is it? I think the only one I remember for children is a little, like, um, teddy bear picture, and that's quite small, isn't it? Teddy bear picture, but that's tiny, isn't it? That's quite tiny, but we could put it next to the table. So it's like a feature with the table. I would kind of like something up on the wall above where the, the cot is. What's the meadow picture? How's that? That's quite nice for above the cot. So for the baby, we've got this section. And for the small child, we've got this. That's kind of nice, don't you think? Kind of like that for a little child. I would be tempted to put a carpet on the floor, but the problem with carpets on the floor is little children can shove them in their mouths. So some people like carpets for them to be soft for the children to crawl on, and other people don't like them because the child might try and put the carpet in their mouth. And that could, of course, be kind of scary. So that's one of those things where people will differ in their opinions, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing to have a carpet on a child's floor. The blue stripes might be quite nice near the... Uh, quite like that actually. So I think 
for the there you go look that's quite nice so that's for the bigger child and that's for the baby child now parents room parents have got quite a lot of space but we're going to want a great big lovely bed aren't we for the parents a nice big soft comfy bed double bed double beds please nice big soft comfy huggable bed for the parents oh chocolate big chocolate bed we've used this before but it's actually a lovely comfy looking bed if I can get the positioning right and make the bed please see lovely beautiful soft comfy type of bed isn't it so we want bedside tables now to go with that and then we're going to want lamps on the side with that can we get a black or white mm -hmm. buy many so one at that side and one at this side like so lamps please lamps standing four on side Ooh, one of these one of these buy many no rotate please lovely that nope, rotate please lovely nice big fancy picture above the bed picture big fancy pretty ooh. how about uh no do you know what i know which one i want i want the horses rushing running crazily horses running crazily oh it's not quite as big as I uh, it was also not centered I actually thought it was a little bit bigger than that still not centered it's because I can't reach to try and center it from the bottom of the bed so it's hard to see how's that I like that carpet we want some carpets we want some rug space which rugs shall we use in this room what's this one cream so if we put one here and one here maybe or is that too much I think we want to move that and move this just a little closer at that side there we go that looks better actually much better now the parents have got more space so we can do more with the furniture in their room we can actually give them a wardrobe I believe now the type of wardrobe we're going to put in I think I quite like this one and I think that might be a good colour as well because that one will fit quite nicely on this wall if I can find the right position for it to stand like so lovely and then we can use the same sort of um, drawers that we did for the children and we can put that under here like so and that's an identical to the one that the children had and we can 
move it a little bit further across. So that it, it sits sort of in between the windows. Can't quite move it any closer because in the real world, of course, if it was too close to the radiator, you could warp whatever the wood is. So I quite like that idea, like so. And we could maybe fit in a dressing table as well. Can't, can't spell. Dressing table, please. Oh yes, we've got these new ones, haven't we? The Valentine ones. How tall is the... Actually, do you know what? We're going to move the chest of drawers onto here and then the dressing table can sit between the two windows and then the mirror fits beautifully like so. That is even better. And then in this little corner here, we can add one of these, right, which orientation is better for the plant, like so. Beautiful. So, in this direction, we have this. I think that's rather nice. And then from this direction we have the wardrobe and the dressing table. And you know what? I think we might be able to even fit in a little chair. Or maybe not. Because the colours are just so wrong. No, those colours don't match at all. And the bigger t bigger chairs would just not fit, would it? Yes, I was just thinking we might fit one of these smaller chairs in the corner there, but actually, let me think of the space. If I did try and put a chair here, it would probably mean I can't use the wardrobe. Let's have a think, shall we? Will it fit? Actually, it might. Oh, it will work. It will work. Yes, it does still leave enough space for opening the doors. So, in this direction, we have this view of the parents' bedroom. Very pleased with this. And from this direction, we have this. Rather pleased with this. Let me close the door so that we can see it properly. There you go. And that is the parents' bedroom. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. From Kitty 99 goodbye and happy gaming!